Hi, fellow classmates, instructors, and friends. This is Ginny, your humble TCM student who knows absolutely nothing about this field, but wanted to start this audio journal to record everything TCM. If you would like to join my study group as well, please come learn with me. And let's get healthier by healing our bodies from the inside out holistically together. Hey everyone, today we are going to dig a little bit deeper into the yin yang theory. In our last audio log, we kind of touched on the starting points of yin yang theory on how having too much of anything is basically bad for you, and we should all try to find our balance. In today's audio log, I'm going to try my best to help you find your balance, and hopefully, you can grasp that idea even more. To start off with this theory, I think embracing the opposition is very important. You wouldn't know what's good until you know what's bad, and vice versa. And one of the examples I have was in my past relationship. In my mind, I've always wanted my partner to be there 24/7 with me physically. And so, in my past relationship, we would do things together all the time. I thought that was exactly what I wanted in a relationship because I'm just needy like that, I guess. <laughs> and then when I came into this new relationship, and you know, now my fiance, I guess, he's a lot busier as a person. He would always go off and do side projects. He would have a lot of freelance work to do. So I would actually have time for myself, which is. Great, but in the beginning, oh boy, oh boy, there was a learning curve <laughs> for me. It was a hard adjustment from being with someone twenty four seven to being with this new person that I probably only gets to see like on the weekends. It was very different. I had to learn how to be independent. I have to learn how to be content with myself. Those things are things that you would never know until you are truly by yourself. At the beginning, I completely dreaded it. I hated it with a passion, but after overcoming that and started to enjoy my own company and started discovering my own hobbies, it was the most beautiful thing. <laughs> to some of you, I'm pretty sure you're like, "Oh my God, you just discovered this now." Yes, call me a late bloomer. <laughs> okay, I honestly just discovered how nice it is to just be alone. Only a few years ago. But I have to say, it's truly beautiful and it's amazing. Everyone should do it. Everyone should try it. <laughs> If I never had that time to be with myself all the time, I wouldn't have came up with this idea to start this platform and this idea to start this community with all of you. So I said all this to say that what you thought was good. Might not be good for you because you had too much of it before. Which for me, I had too much time with my ex partner before, and that was actually not healthy for me. Where in this relationship, it's more balanced in a way that I do get to spend time with him, but I do get to have my own. Alone time as well. This balance helped me grow into a healthier being, <laughs> into a person that's not as dependent on their partner and more emotionally independent and mentally independent. It's great because now I'm content with myself mentally and everything. So that's why having a balance is amazing. And it's a must in order to nurture healthy relationships, healthy lifestyle, just a healthier you. I kind of want to help everyone try to find that balance themselves. By that, I kind of want to do an exercise with you where we can all try to find that balance 
within ourselves together. If you're up for it, I would love for you to just close your eyes for just a moment. Let's think of a moment in your day that makes you feel you're most comfortable when you're most awake and when you're most motivated and when you have the most clarity and when you feel the most positive and happy and where in that day that you feel absolutely stress-free and not a care in the world. How does that look like for you? How does that feel for you? Would it be in the morning that you feel that way? Or is it in the afternoon that you feel that way? Or perhaps it's in the evening. Just take a moment and think about it. If you want to stay in this moment a little longer, go ahead. Take in a few more deep breaths through the nose and out the mouth. This is the very moment we all want to be in. For me, for my moment, it's basically an hour after waking up and after having my morning breakfast And now I'm just sitting at my desk with my coffee in my hands, feeling the warmth coming through the glass and then taking in the smell of the rich aroma from my coffee and slowly easing into my day, feeling awake feeling motivated, feeling stress-free. I will look out the window and feel the warmth of the sun. And in my head, slowly prioritizing all of the work that I have to do today. But not stressing over it. Just letting the thoughts go by and taking in that aroma of my coffee that is basically when I am the most blissful and motivated what is yours? I would love to know Wouldn't you want this moment to last longer? Wouldn't you want this to be your moment, your entire day? Well, I'm here to let you know that you can have this for the entire day. And this is the very moment and the specific feeling that you can feel if your body is balanced from the inside out. This wave of positivity is how you're going to feel. And this level of energy is what you're going to feel if you truly feel balanced within.
And now let's take a deep breath. When you're ready, open your eyes. And how do you feel? Did you feel that balance? Did you feel more motivated and happier? I hope you found your peace and what that felt like for you. I certainly would love to know what your moment is. So please let me know, message me, share your thoughts. Because there might be moments that you guys feel like it's your moment. But perhaps I overlooked myself. So with that said, that's it for today. Please stay tuned for our next log because I'm going to be talking about the philosophy of yin and yang and the relations with your organs. Hopefully I could break it down and make sense of it uh, myself so I could explain it to you guys as well. If you like this episode, please give it a like. If you would like to hear future episodes, please subscribe. Or if you have any questions about health, please send me an email at kuko.health at gmail.com, which is K-U-K-O dot health. If you just want to say hi or drop me a DM on Instagram, come follow me at kuko.health, which is again, K-U-K-O dot health. Thank you so, so much for listening to me today. And please stay warm and healthy out there. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye.